Oh my gosh, they're shooting him. This has to be test footage, straight up. Because that looks real. Hi, I'm Jordan. I've edited for artists like these guys. Let's get to the breakdown, brother. The sound is so mysterious. So there's this Twitter account called Art Decider. And they say some tweets are art, some tweets are not art. This tweet is art. I am the art decider. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna look at this not so well-known video and you're gonna decide is art or not art. Art or not art, you decide. Hey, look at that. It's directed and produced by Jam, the artist, the man, the myth, the legend. That's freaking cool. Now let me know how you feel right now because this is how I feel. I feel like, I don't know, the, the music is, is kind of abrasive. It's kind of like, nah, nah, nah. Which is interesting because this song is about cyberbullying and bullying in general and how it affects us. The whole intro is just so jarring. We're cutting between three shots that are on the exact same focal length and that is a absolute no. Never do this. But they decided to break the rule in this instance because it creates such an abrasive feeling. And we're just showing the same subject which probably means that this bathtub is going to be important so we'll wait to the end and see. But oh it's so abrasive. Cutting right on the beat too is also kind of abrasive at times. This low res image, dude. Wow. Everything is so just like, ah. Uh, I'm just getting like goosebumps, like in the bad way. Oof. Sometimes we want to do the opposite of create satisfying cuts because it makes us feel something. The whole point of art and media is to elicit an emotional response. Doesn't matter if it's a good response or a bad response. It's so interesting because of when we look at the lyrics, they say your poison, your hatred, your anger, you use them to torture your prisoners. And the prisoners are people who are in the spotlight, people that get cyber bullied, people that get attacked. We're the bully busters. We eat straight rocks. If we catch you bullying, we'll knock off your socks. It's really cool that our boy Jam is wanting to come out and talk about important issues like that. And I love how the video and the audio come together to create a feeling. That I love this. This is so cool. That is the sickest shot ever. I literally feel like I'm watching an A24 music video. It's just all of the rules are being broken. First of all, these cuts right here are so abrasive. They're not smooth, they're extremely choppy, they flash on at you. But I think the purpose of the cut is to create a connection. When we put two images together, we draw a connection, and when we cut back and forth multiple times, it makes that connection even stronger. So we're saying, hey, this mannequin that we've been showing a little bit earlier, that's jam, that's a representation of jam. He's obviously sad, you know, not having a great day, so. <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. So we're trying to connect the mannequin and Jam saying, hey, this is the same person. <laughs> that is so dope. I wonder if this mannequin footage is like test footage and that's why it's so grainy. It's like a uh, like lab footage or something. The pace is so slow, so we can just soak up the lyrics. Peter Pan. 
saying, I need to save the child within me, Peter Pan. And I think that means because we're having all of this bullying, these attacks coming at us, we need to revert back to when we were kids, when we didn't care about the world, when we were just having a lot of fun, you know, not worrying about growing up and facing the world. But it's kind of a double-edged sword because we want to maintain that innocence and that fun, but we also want to mature and grow up and be able to face the world and the harsh realities of it. Hello, Peter. Get your hat, Peter. Don't forget your hat. Oh, frick. <laughs> The lyrics are saying, I'll bear your poison, your hatred, your anger as fertilizer. Now, before, in the beginning of the song, he was getting attacked by this anger, this poison, this hatred. And now he's saying, I'm going to take that hatred and I'm going to put it to good use. I'm going to let it fuel me and make me stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Dude, there's so many abstract, just artsy shots. But they're, the cinematography is beautiful. Except for this, but oh my gosh, they're shooting him. This has to be test footage straight up. Because that looks real. Who shot this? That was a money shot, dude. That was a money shot, bro. So this shooting might be words, might be things, like might be bullying, cyberbullying that's coming in and hurting him. Looks like he got slashed. This shot is incredible. And the way that it's timed is so perfect. It envelops him right when the music cuts out. That, oof. It's such a simple thing, but it feels so nice. And now the music's not quite as abrasive, as you can tell, because now we're starting to overcome the bullying, the music and the visuals are less abrasive and they're a lot more satisfying to watch, which is interesting. Wow. Right on that beat. Holy frick, this is like a baptism. Where's the money, Lebowski? He's putting to death all his wounds and rising from the frickin' molasses or whatever it is. That rhymes with ashes. He's rising from the, the ashes molasses. I'm here all day, y'all. I'm here all day. Now, class, let me know. How the frick is he not wet when he comes up? How, how does his hair look fine? Like, oh, he fine. Who is that? What is going on? The answer, class, is that the shot is played in reverse. You probably knew that already, but it's pretty cool. This is so, it's just, it's so cool. <laughs> the way he just. He's a new man now. Oh, frick. This boy has versatile vocals, if I do say so myself. And it looks like he's hitting that note so hard that it's like painful. Honestly, that might be part of the story because it's painful to take in some of that hate and let it go. It's not an easy process. He's crying out. I feel you, brother. I feel you. Look yourself in the mirror. This boy needs to eat a chicken nugget too. I can see his ribs. Wow. That falsetto going off. 11 from Stranger Things? He has powers. Maybe that's just a little residue of, of some of that pain that he feels.
Dang. Our boy has now accepted Peter Pan as part of himself. Wiping off the excess blood, some of the residual pain that he's still feeling, and he's accepting both sides of himself. I just think it's so cool that he's able to take some of the pain that he's actually felt in his life experience and turn it into something that could help somebody else. So what do you guys think, art or not art? I'm gonna have to say that's art because they're breaking all kinds of rules to give us an emotional response, starting from pain, ending with acceptance. It's just a good story. Now it's time for some interpretive dance therapy. I am so dizzy. Jesus loves you. I love you guys. Subscribe. I gotta lay down. <laughs>